Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you press that subscribe button and of course the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And what are we doing today? We are doing a huge, or well not so huge, but the bags are huge, Zara haul. Damn, these bags are actually heavy. I shouldn't really have wasted my money on my gym membership, but you know, we do what we do. But anyways, don't mind this atrocious wood color i have to deal with what i have in my student accommodation but we move on i went to zara today and i thought i'd do a quick haul because i'm very busy at uni at the moment and i also don't usually pay much attention to my autumn winter wardrobe but i noticed that zara is picking it up like stepping up their game so you know I thought I'd do them the pleasure of gracing them with my business. I live in black, so most of this haul will be neutrals. However, I did leave my comfort zone a bit and went into gray. <laughs> and I actually bought something super out of the box. So just stay tuned, don't leave yet, and let's get on with this. Yeah. I'm just gonna start with my most favorite item in this haul and I am buzzing to wear it. I already know the location I'm wearing it for. I will be doing a get ready with me wearing this outfit. So I'm not gonna style it fully for this insert I'm going to show you of me wearing it because I just wanna keep that a little surprise but I have high hopes for this. And it is a leather dress. I went into Zara looking for a leather blazer or a leather coat or something like that and I came out with something even better a leather dress with long sleeves this has so much potential because a it's a black dress can wear it anytime b it's long sleeved can wear it anytime c just all in all versatile is the word and you can't get more versatile than a black long sleeved dress. I have a black long sleeved velvet dress, which I've worn with a blazer before, really works. I've worn just like that on a date before, works as well. You can wear it day and night, and I'm feeling that vibe for this dress as well. I'm feeling knee high boots, maybe a bit of a necklace, or like slightly open with a cool bra underneath tights and shorter boots i don't know but i feel like this is going to be a great versatile piece that is just going to stay a staple in my i guess this should be a staple in everybody's wardrobe i got it in large because i don't know if you've noticed but i am a tall girl i've been watching um hauls lately and people are like oh yeah you can get like a really oversized hoodies and wear them with boots no this girl has legs longer than your whole body, so I cannot wear a hoodie, unfortunately. Super cool look, but hoodies, like even oversized men's hoodies. I have a guy's XL hoodie, and it literally just covers my bun, so that just doesn't work for me. But anywho, I feel this will really work, and I am super excited for it. I, I just, I just, yeah, excitement overload. On that note, I have a pair of leather shorts, which I feel are also very versatile. You can wear it night and day, brunch and dinner, date and uni, everything. You can wear these leather shorts. I actually wore them today because I bought them last week, but I wore them with this top. So they're kind of bulky at the moment, but I really like the paper bag, I think that's what it's called, I'm not really sure, but the fact that you can tie it and it kind of, you know, cinches in your waist, gives you that hourglass figure, and best part, it has pockets. Need I say more? So I'm currently wearing it with tights and boots. That's my athleticism for today. And you can wear it again dinner, uni, breakfast, brunch, lunch, date, cinema, 
wherever you want and that is what my autumn winter outfits are all about i love versatility i love staples and i just love things that you don't you can't saw one of those like wear once can't wear it again because i have too many of those things you know? my last leather piece is these rust colored straight leg trousers and honestly, it's not something I would usually go for because as I said, I'm more into neutrals. I like colors, but I find colors very hard to pair stuff with. But then I thought, you know, there's no harm on having one pair of colorful trousers. These are kind of cool. I saw a similar pair on House of CB for over a hundred pounds and then I was kind of contemplating it and then I saw them in Zara and I think I actually wore them so I took the price tag off but they were definitely like around 30 euro or 40 euro so and honestly I've worn them with a black jumper and I've worn them with a black top and sneakers these as well you can dress them up and wear them in the evening they're really nice or you can just wear them as like a brunch outfit or a shopping outfit like they're a cool little different pop of color and they're very autumnal looking so there we go so next up i have a ribbed midi dress you can never go wrong with midi never you can never go wrong with ribbed ever either I have a midi ribbed knitted grey skirt from Zara that I bought like two years ago. It's still a staple in my wardrobe. I saw this dress and I actually thought it was so cute. I mean look at these little floral diamante buttons that go all along. It is a slight issue. I tried it on in the changing room and they were slightly popping. I guess I'd have to put like a safety pin or something or I could just wear it slightly open with something underneath. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm just absolutely in love with this. It's long sleeved and I also got it in a medium. So super cute, super like, uh, you could wear it. Actually, it looks kind of good with my tights now on top. You could wear it with boots. You can wear it with chunky trainers. You can just wear it with everything. It's kind of casual, but dressy, and that's what I live for. On the gray note and on the ribbed note, we have a, this jumper, which is a darker gray. I got this in a large, but it's kind of a higher neck, which I actually love because I've been stuck with winter wear that are v-neck or scoop neck, and I get quite a cold neck. <laughs> Um, and then you have to wear scarves and sometimes it doesn't go with your outfit, blah, 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 blah. So I prefer actually wearing polo necks or high neck jumpers or tops or sweaters or whatever. And this I thought was very cute. So it has a hole in the back and buttons up here and buttons that go down here. So I think that's really cute. And I love the little poofed up shoulder detail, but it's not too like you know out there the ribbing is nice i actually was going to get a medium and then i held them up against each other because i didn't want to try them on and go into the changing room today and then i realized that the large has longer sleeves and a longer body there's no actual difference in the width so i'm happy i did that because i need a bit of a longer body and arm length next up on the sweater top note I bought this square neck top in this ecru color in a size medium. Again, I think this is like such a staple top. You can wear it with everything and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Also the material, just like the gray jumper I just showed you, is a very like sturdy rib and it actually feels really nice. So I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Also because I have been struggling putting together outfits lately since I want something a bit different, hence I'm wearing, actually this is a dress that I'm wearing with my shorts today, but I kind of like worked it out, um, but I like this and then I thought I'd get a top in this color instead for future wear. I also like that it's long sleeves because I have more t-shirts in my wardrobe. So overall, I'm excited to wear this. And last but not least on the clothing department is this baby. Misha, if you're watching this, 
I finally got one. Oh my god, it's so soft! Okay, this is, oh, I, I'm gonna be sleeping in this. Oh my god, this is so nice. Okay, so the only thing I'm not loving is that the inside is not as soft, but I suppose that's good because like that would probably end up being like kind of sweaty or something. But anyways, this is super, super soft. So if you need somebody to hug, like I think I'll be the most huggable person out here. I think Zara had this two years ago. I wanted it, didn't end up getting it because I was like, hmm, really, will I wear it? Is it worth it? It was... It was $49.95, so 50 euro. I got it in a size L because I like things baggy and cozy, and that's just who I am, kind of oversized look. I'll be wearing it with leggings 100%. Um, and this year they came out with a new one again, and I just, I had to get it. I mean, it's clearly not leaving fashion, and even if it is leaving fashion, it's not leaving my wardrobe because like I said, in winter, I'm just kind of a hibernator, so I will live in, in leggings, trackies, things like that. Leggings, tank top or t-shirt, this, chunky trainers, you are set. I mean, I literally can't get more cozy. Oh my god! I am so happy! I am like an Eskimo. This is literally my best. Purchase. I'm happy this is my last thing I'm showing you too because I'm literally not taking this off. I could hug myself. I mean like this is just oh it's heavenly. Yes, I know you wish you could hug me right now. I kind of feel cool in this as well. I'm just telling you this is a fantastic purchase because you can wear it to uni. <laughs> Another versatile piece. Just yeah. Breakfast, brunch, lunch, gym, no, maybe not the gym, cinema. Cinema in this? Oh my god! You'll feel like you're in bed. I just, you need to get this. If there's one thing you're getting from this haul, it's this. And the leather dress from the beginning. And everything. Because I'm such a versatile shopper, like honestly, you just need to be watching my haul. Forget about everyone else's hauls because my hauls are showing you the essentials. On that note, I wanted to quickly mention one thing you guys need to be aware of is that I've been watching hauls and I was getting really excited like, oh, I so picture myself wearing that or seeing things on Instagram and like, mm, yeah, you know, like Zara is doing good things right now. No go into store. There's things I touched and I don't know, but their quality of some of this stuff is really slacking. Like there was one jumper that was itchier than a ball of wool. Like it was just so rough. You wouldn't even want to, I, I don't, you just would not want to be wearing that. Then there was a jacket. I actually like a puffer jacket. I wanted just a basic black puffer jacket because I have jackets, but they're just, a bit out there so i thought you know in case i just want to go out to the supermarket whatever with a hood because if it's raining um and the material was literally like a paper bag you just you need to be going to store at the moment because you will be so shocked at some of the materials they're using so you never know, better to buy in person than online and you can't go wrong with this. This is literally everything I've bought feels good and it's, this is so soft. Anyways, last but not least, since we've spoken about that bad quality situation, we are on to jewelry. I bought these earrings from Mango actually and they're hoops and they were only 9 euro 99 so 10 euro and they are fantastic. I've been getting so many compliments about these. These are my first pair of hoops I've bought for myself but I'm just really happy with the thickness of these and the size of them. They look fantastic with a sleeked back ponytail or bun just really adds to your outfit especially if you're wearing these leather looks need i say more anyways and c'est tout so thank you very much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed my haul make sure to follow me on instagram so that you see my completed outfit looks 
and make sure to also comment down below if you want to see more of these type of short hauls and of course press that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up see you next week